Well, happening right now, first year Georgia college students are preparing to say their final goodbyes to their parents before starting a new chapter in life. But before they say goodbye, they have to move into the dorm room. Morning reporter Wanye Reese joins us live from Milledgeville to tell us how the college is preparing to welcome more than a thousand students today. Good morning, Wanye. Well, good Thursday morning, Carly and Caitlin. Believe it or not, parents and students have already started arriving to get their get moved into their residence hall. And housing director Larry Kristen says they are ready to make sure that everybody is moved in today by noon. It's the calm before the storm at Georgia College. According to Larry Christensen, 1,200 students are moving in Thursday, and more than 400 volunteers like Morgan Woods will be on hand to help move those students. I'll make sure that all the doors are propped open so you don't have to keep opening the doors to bring your stuff in. Woods, a senior at Georgia College, says move-in day is a little like organized chaos with all the cars on West Green Street. And then you have a student walk in, and they go to all of our stations and they pick up their keys and they get the Bobcat card programmed and get. Students will not be the only ones dealing with a little chaos. Campus police plan on turning West Green Street into a one way street and shutting down other side streets. Signs here at Georgia College say expect traffic delays. And the reason why is because South Jackson Street and South Columbia Street are going to be closed from 630 a.m. this morning until at least 11 a.m. Captain Joe Grant with Campus Police says closing the street should ease traffic congestion, but he says you should pack your patience. So that you're looking at over 2,000 vehicles coming in here uh, in an area of, uh, of, of less than five hours. Grant says police will have traffic cones and barricades set up to direct traffic, and Christensen says before families arrive, they will have to check in with Campus Police before they can access West Green Street. And we'll have officers meeting uh, all of the parents and students at the top of the hill. Uh, they'll make sure that we have their telephone number on a piece of paper so that if they should park their car and not move it, we need it moved right away, they can contact them really quickly. And now, if you're moving in today, you will be coming down West Green Street right here and right here at the head of the road. They are going to have a check in like we said before. And once again, if you are going to be moving on the street, they plan to back all the cars in and more than 400 volunteer members are going to be there to help you. And as far as these street closures, they plan to have all these streets opened up no later than noon. And Caitlin and Carly, I know that Georgia College is home of the Bobcats, but for this good old Virginia boy who went to Virginia Commonwealth University, <laughs> I had to show them how we do it. Go Rams! Live in Milledgeville, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Anya. <laughs> Looking good there. Gosh, I remember our college move-in day. It was not that organized. some bulldog attire. I didn't realize. I know, Anya. you got to let us know. <laughs> well, students will be moving in today starting at 7 a.m. alphabetically from now until 9 a.m. Now, if students miss their designated time, they can move in at 10 a.m., and that is according to University Housing. 